Well, I'm out here in the garden. Um, thought I'd do an overview of it. This is October 2020. Early October, like October the 2nd. And we still have 106 degree weather. It's not as intense like it would be in June or July. I have a new Grow Pro and we bought, I bought this in in uh, March or February because we were getting ready to go on a trip. The trip got canceled because of the pandemic. So we are getting ready to go on a Grand Canyon trip that I've never taken before. So I'm going to be using my GoPro so I need to practice a little bit. So I thought I'd give an overview of my garden. Here is uh, succulents, and I put a scarecrow in him. This is my bird of paradise. It's supposed to bloom in December, so I hope it does. This is my new rocking chair. I hope to get use of this as the weather turns really nice. They say we're gonna get two digit temperatures in about a week or so. This is a mum I bought that has four different colors. Orange, yellow, bronze, and purple. I'm excited to see it bloom and show off its colors. This is my project that I just finished. My pandemic project. It's a walkway to take the trash can in the backyard when I do clean up in back, back there and tree trimming. Not only that, it's nice to walk back here on the, to get the trash in uh, rather than the walk on the rocks. Put a couple solar lights on there. I used them last night and they looked really good. That way it's not completely dark back here because there's no lights over here. This is my plumera, my beautiful plumera. And it's got some flowers up here. The scent is really nice, beautiful plant. With the intense heat that we had this year, I'm surprised I have any plants left at all. <laughs> These are my gardenias, which survive the summer heat, and they're looking really good. So I will be getting some more, because these two did really good. This is the day lily here. It's finished blooming. The day lilies lasted until, well, I still have one that's still blooming, and they started in like mid or late April. So they went a long ways through the summer. Here's my solar fountain. The other fountain I had, you had to scrub it because of the algae and everything, but I don't get algae in this one. So I switched to the glass fountain, bird bath, I should say, and bought a solar um, fountain to put in there. And it's been working all summer long without any special care.
See, this is the last of the day lily. This is the lantana. Butterflies and hummingbirds love the lantana. This is the vinca. So I decided with the lantana, I get a lot more. I've got white lantana and um, orange lantana the yellow. This is a slipper plant, which is fairly new to me. And because it came in such a large pot, I split it up. And so there's about four different areas in my garden that I have a slipper plant. This is hens and chicks. This is a poinsettia that I had at Christmas and I decided to plant it. It's losing uh, leaves but then it's also getting new leaves. This is another vinca. And this is the hibiscus. Huge, huge hibiscus. So big. See how big it is? This is a white one over here, but it doesn't appear that there's any blossoms on it today. There's a rose. These have a really good scent, these rose, roses do. I have um, a couple in the house that I put in a vase. And this is a Mr. Lincoln rose. Another lantana, the yellow. white rose, which I love the scent on this one. So this is an overview of my garden. In early October 2020, during the pandemic. Um, as you can see here, I also, um, if you've seen any of my videos, I did not have any stepping stones. Well, this is one of my projects that I also did during the pandemic. Um, I put a stone wall, a, a step, um, brick wall around the tree. And I put some stepping stones here. So I just have certain areas that I put special plants in. Kind of like it, kind of really looks nice. So I did the stepping stone walkway on the side of the house and then this one during the pandemic of 2020. As you can see, the solar fountain only works if it's in the sun. I have a pot here with water in it, and uh, it's all shaded right now. But when the sun is out on it, it has a really nice spray. These are my two pumpkins. And that's an overview of my garden and some of the work that I did during the 2020 pandemic. I'm happy what how this one turned out too. And with that said, this is the end of the video. Thank you.